Bi monthly check in 11 18 23. The following is meant to be used as an outline to structure the episode with potential questions. Ooh. Feel free to go where the conversation naturally leads. <laughs> this is very serious. Those are my instructions to you. <laughs> Welcome to the Next Boots from Start to Finish podcast. This is our every other week kind of check-in episode. Um, I'm joined here today by Luke the Nuke Larson, 2022 2023 Thunderdome champion, um, and also my favorite producer. Sorry, Andrew Thank Kelsey you. Kelsey Lurs back. How's it going? It's really good. Yeah, I'm hoping Luke the Nuke does not stick. <laughs> Really? <laughs> one of you is going to be the nuke. That's not me. And there's well, one of the, one of the Lukes. Oh, okay, like four, yeah. fourteen Lukes here. Um, well, I, I mean, what do you think of my nickname for for the other Lucas? It was it brought the house down. It did. <laughs> yes, it did. Sassberger, yes, <laughs> gives me the business a lot. So I think it's appropriate. Um, what are you working on, man? How's, how's, how are things like what's, what's happening? Uh, so right now, um, basically I'm working on, um, just trying to catch up on stuff where we got a lot of belts to make. So I've been back in production most of the week, just kind of cranking out belts with uh, tribe. So I hear you're also going to help out the uh, boot production side a little bit. That's what I was told. Yes. By, <laughs> no, by well, you, yeah. you volunteered. <laughs> you, you say you like a little variety. I do. I do. I do like it. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's fun going back there and trying to catch up for a couple of days on what I used to do. Yeah. No, so. you were, you were amazing and you are amazing, but Thank you. you were also amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I think one of the cool things going on and you can't really see it cause it's below the table, but we're trying a new approach. So we've got this new leather, um, coming out one of our kind of limited runs. It's a Cypress, um, that I think is, is really pretty and you're wearing them for yeah. like a month. Yeah. Uh, to basically allow us to showcase how it ages a bit alongside with the new photos. How's yep. that going? It's going great. I love it so far. It's uh, it's really cool leather. Um, it's kind of aging differently from my last leather. So um, that's been a kind of a, 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 a learning curve on like how to treat it and stuff like that. So it's. But. Yeah, it's kind of weird because I remember when I saw the sides, it was very almost distressed look to it okay. and then when we lasted it that kind of got pulled out and so i'm kind of hoping that comes back into it over you yeah. know over the wear yeah. cycle um and uh yeah so i think it'll that'll be launching uh, black friday cyber monday um and you know if you want a very interesting brown um, that's how i would call it you can my wife called it like coffee it was like a re really deep gorgeous brown so okay neat, yeah. i like it i like it coffee with milk <laughs> no, 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 no. Just black coffee, I think. Really? That's not <laughs> that's pretty dark. I don't yeah. anyway. All right. Well, color is pretty subjective. <laughs> a light roast. Yeah. yeah. A li maybe a light <laughs> roast. Yeah. That's good. Um Brandle components are coming in. Uh we've got kind of all of it coming together. Um, so that will be launching um uh pretty very mostly confident on uh Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And well, you know, I, it's a little embarrassing, right? Cause it's like something I've wanted to, you know, I thought we would be able to do much earlier in the year, but there were some things that didn't kind of come through as quickly as we'd liked. And so, um, you know, we've had to push it back cause we want it to be perfect, but, uh, it will be, it will be perfect. Um, new pattern is going through. We are working on some, some different things there, obviously in addition to the brand all, um, I think we've kind of pushed too much through at once to be honest and so we may kind of slow our roll there a little bit um luke how did you know i don't know how did you feel when you were back in production about some of these these newer um whenever new stuff came th came through uh yeah i didn't i didn't have to deal with a lot of the new stuff but recently the brandle came back there and i had to do that so i'm standing so yeah. that was it was very stressful so yeah. i can imagine that's stressful for them trying to Yep. Do this along with this, the normal stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's funny. Like go up in price point and the stakes become a little higher. Exactly, um, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, we've also got mahogany 64 that has launched. That drum is 
should be here pretty pretty shortly. Um, I'm excited about that one too. Yeah, I think it's a really really pretty leather. Um, as a funny story, uh, we are out of sixty four brown because when we ordered it, we said we wanted the the sixty four brown, and the brown's really not descriptive enough because they sent us the walnut. Um, <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Which is crazy to me because, like, we've ordered that way for a long time. But, you know, mistakes happen, and uh, we're going to try and get a little more prescriptive on that. But a um, little, little peek behind the curtain at some uh, shenanigans that, yeah. that happened here. So we apologize to, to anyone that, yeah. um, <laughs> experiencing delays there. Uh, the leather jacket shipments, we've sent the – so they have the leather um, – at the cut and sew factory and they're working on them now. So I, I would expect um, some shipments to be going out here relatively quickly. Um, looks, they look awesome. Sound, sounds like they're having a, a pretty easy time working without leather. Um, so that's our 1964 Brown, which needs a more descriptive name. Um, yeah. 1964. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. What, what do you, what do you think? What should the name be? I don't know. It's a medium uh, brown. I think it's, a, yeah. it's like the staple leather of Nix. I feel like 64 brown. Is just what but you got 64 black, 64 tan. All these 64s yeah, but now. Like, true. Yeah. But 60, 60, I don't know. Yeah. 64 uh, brown. Yeah. We, we, I don't know. I don't know. Listeners, if you have any ideas, let me know. I'd really appreciate <laughs> it. Um, or I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. But the leather looks beautiful and um, it's uh, in a nice, thick, three and a half ounce um, weight, which is going to be a little thicker than probably what you're used to uh, a heavy for, coat. for garments. Um, well, it's interesting because like the, the machinery at the tanneries, so they put everything through like these rollers, right? And so if the stuff's too thin, it gets caught, you know, bunches up. And so that's probably for, for, for our, t- the tanneries that we buy from is some of the, you know, and in the suitable tannages, it's probably about the thinnest that we can go. Okay. Um, but but yeah, I mean, Luke, you've you've seen it. What do you what do you think of the jacket? I think it's great. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beauty. It's really nice. It's a beaut. Yeah. It's heavy. It's, it's a little, very it's heavy. A li- I feel like it's lighter than the canvas one though. No, no, it's heavier. I thought I we I heavier. thought we weighed it. I thought it was like close to ten pounds, maybe. No uh, way. <laughs> I don't I don't remember, but oh, it was wow. it was heavy. Yeah. Wow, this thing is gonna be yeah. keeping you safe out there. Yeah, yeah. for sure, <laughs> for sure. Well, you know, in the old days, people used to wear leather as armor. Sure. Yeah. And so. It's, it's Nick's armor coat. It's Nick's armor coat. Uh, Sierra Chelsea, that was that was launched, what, like a week ago in the email? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I noticed the response is, was a little lower from a sales perspective than maybe like, you know, when we offer 10% off. But you know what? That's okay. We just kind of kind of live with that and, uh, <laughs> you know, try and get away from, from discounting, frankly. But yeah. Um, how how are small how's the small leather goods world going, Luke? It's fun. So I know we're a little backed up. Yeah, we are backed up. Yeah, we got we were really backed up on our natural double stuff belt leather that came in recently. So we're cranking those out. Yeah, I saw some comments on on the Reddit there. I appreciate mm-hmm. the feedback, guys. Sorry, sorry yeah. we were late there. Um, yep. So I'm gonna probably have to order some more of that because we're gonna go through this batch. So you know. <laughs> so how many how many highs did you get? I think we ordered seven seven of them. And you're going to use those? Yeah. Dang. Okay. Yeah. They, that goes through really fast. Wow. You know? Okay. So, um, and then billfolds, we had a couple sales and the billfold stack piled up. So okay. we're trying to crank through those right now as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. Okay. Some... Dog collars? Mm. <laughs> yes. Don't ask me. <laughs> you said it was okay in a previous podcast, so we're trying it. Okay. We're trying it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, okay. It'll be... We have this leather that we can't use for belts, and we can cut that down to three quarter inch, like straps for leashes. And I think sure, man, good. Yeah. get knock yourself out, you know, because so, I know you don't have any other you know belts to make or <laughs> any wallets to make or anything like that. But that's cool. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try it, see what they look like. Okay, so, well, creativity is fun, and I'm glad yeah. you get to yeah kind of experience that back there. That's Everybody great. wants a dog collar here, so and a cat collar. Okay, but okay, yeah. are you gonna yeah, get a cat? A cat collar. You're gonna get a cat you collar. Can, you can just yeah. get a small. Dog Does your cat collar. wear a collar? No. No. So what's the collar for? And what's your cat's name? Mr. Michaels. Okay, I just want to put that on the pocket. <laughs> what's Mr. Michaels' full name? Mr. Brett Michaels. 
<laughs> I see. I love that. I love that. Oh, I love Louise. that. Brett Michaels. Um, so what are you going to do with the collar? I don't know. Like for when you take, take him to the vet or I'm something? Because I have a nice tag for him. I got it before I realized he would not wear a collar. So maybe I'll just put it on there and hang it on a bulletin board or something. So what is like what? What does he do? He will put his bottom jaw underneath, and oh. then he'll get stuck. His oh. bottom jaw will be stuck in the collar, and he'll be like. Can you get it tighter, tight around. enough that he can't do that? Yeah, you gotta get it tighter. No, it just gets worse. He's so stubborn. <laughs> I. So I, Mr. I Mr. Michaels. my <laughs> wife, my wife and I have cats, and we, I. <laughs> oh god is this animal cruelty um we we will put them in um costumes sometimes for halloween yeah and um yeah she says <laughs> of course I have a t-shirt for Mr. and i feel eventually they submit you know eventually they're like they accept it I'm like, i did okay. for a while he had to wear a harness uh because he couldn't get that off yeah mm. i might go back to that i just don't have one that fits right now okay that i'm not making a harness for a cat no <laughs> Well, you have to give your cat drugs to take to the vet, right? Yeah, that's required now. Yeah, I have to do that with one of mine. He's not happy. No, he's, <laughs> he's a jerk. I don't have any animals, you guys. Wait, so I don't yeah. have to deal with it anymore. You have children, though. I do. Yes, they don't go in. Okay. <laughs> they go in outfits, but they choose that. Yeah. Will they wear collars? No, but they like to wear outfits. There like, you go. For okay. costumes, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, so I think... Just gonna wrap this up pretty quickly. Um, horse butt. Can horse butt. Can I say that? <laughs> I don't know. I just what's our the, What's our bad word policy? The title on Reddit is funny. So horse bottom. Um, horse bottom. Any Rump. chance there will be some horse bottom for a heritage selection in the near future? So I did that with Miriam. Do you remember that? Yes. Um, I remember it very well. Yeah. Why? Because I. I think they didn't like it back there. No, it was very difficult was, to work with. Yeah, lots um, of repairs. It doesn't stretch very well, and it scratches easily. But um, yeah, I maybe, I maybe. So we are gonna have we're gonna have a shell option for the Brandle line. Um, that That's will exciting. be highly exclusive i guess you'll have to get the click the buy button quickly because we're not going to be we can't get very much of it um because it's, it's coming from from Horween. um but yeah maybe i mean we could look at look at other options i think you know the more available options from from europe are, are potentially an option as well maybe some um, horse rump belts yeah mm-hmm. not a bad idea so yeah maybe um i i would like to but again like i th- I feel like I've pushed the factory really hard over the last couple of years. Sure. Yeah. And <laughs> they love it. Um, yeah. You know, like we've just made things more complicated. I mean, it's good. Like some of the stuff is, you know, like with different soles and the different leathers and everything like that. And I do feel like it's kind of adding up and it's, it just seems a little harder right now than, than normal. So sure. um, goal right now is more to simplify production rather than adding additional Wrinkles, pardon the pun. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> they would be very happy about that, probably. Yeah. Yeah, like the ND3s went through. Gosh, that was a lot. That was a lot. They don't like it? Well, it's easier for some portions, actually, but for yeah. sewing, it's it's difficult. Sure. It's really difficult. Um, will the belt width fit my pants? Is that a question, Kelsey? I get it. Luke told yeah. me that was a question. I get it, yeah. Um, okay. People are scared to buy the inch and three quarter belt sometimes because they don't think it's going to fit and I, it'll fit most jeans. Okay. So yeah, don't worry people. So don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unless you have some dress pants on, it's probably going to work okay. just fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, a concern. I, yeah, I don't know what, what, why brass over nickel? I get that question a lot as well. Um, we just really like brass here because it doesn't like I get a lot of questions about why don't you offer nickel and basically the nickel is brass covered in silver that will eventually wear nickel, off into brass. nickel plated yeah exactly at least yeah. our sourcing supply chain is yeah. yeah so yeah we just like it because the brass won't it'll just get more beautiful I mean and it won't wear off like the nickel yeah. the nickel plating so okay. yeah 
Okay. Well, I guess that I, I've read that brass is more durable. Like it, it's um, for, yeah, at least from more durable, standpoint. and it's and again these, these are easily. brass, but yeah, and um, but the the age and antique kind of naturally and beautifully. So okay, um, that's also why we don't offer antique because <laughs> the natural antique is better. I wish I had somebody to look things up. What's <laughs> better, brass or nickel? For just in general? Corrosion, um, rust, oxida- oxidation. I don't hate. I don't hate nickel. I don't hate it. It's just it's not as good. And is that an aesthetic preference or qualitative? Uh, aesthetic, probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I do have a um, a pen. Yeah. That's uh, titanium, I think. Ooh, my phone is titanium. It might, be, it might be aluminum. Yeah. Might be aluminum. I don't know. Anyway, it's very lightweight. I yeah. love it. It's great. It's a great pen. So maybe we'll go to titanium someday. Ooh, yeah. I've gone there with my phone. Apple's done it. Pen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, there's a lot of phones out there. All right, Kelsey. What's the word? You're making a frowny face. There's just a lot of different information about nickel and brass. Okay. Like, is it a kitchen appliance? Is it ammo? Do you think it's a it kitchen appliance <clears throat> that we're... That's what I'm saying. Right? See, it's okay. not easy to just find an answer. <laughs> okay. Solid brass kitchen appliances would be great. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. To reinforce your kitchen floor, but yeah. Um, okay, well, we'll come back to that one. We'll Sounds come back good. to that sure. one. We'll do a little more research, but um, I did look into this one, and I do believe brass is a little more yeah. high-performing from it. Yeah, we offer the black aging and, and brass, basically, right now. So. Yep. It's simple. Okay. Um, Kelsey, do you have anything to add before I sign off? No. No? No. Okay. Well, uh, thanks, everybody, for listening, and um, hope you like this shorter format. Uh, please do rate, review, especially if you liked it, um, wherever you're listening. Well, that's Apple, Google, Spotify, or YouTube. Uh, we'll see you next week, and uh, thank you to Luke for, yeah. for giving your – Hot takes and nuclear opinions. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Wow. You're, you're good with the nicknames. Very quick with them. That's well, it's kind of going to be my thing. Now. Yeah. Everyone's going to get the name. <laughs> Hot the takes. Nick, Mikey's uh, Michael Hunter the fourth. Or the fourth. Actually, Isn't that just his real name? Yeah, but he's not a fourth, so it's going to go up every episode. I thought. Oh. <laughs>